Plus time for Focus 50 Plus. Dr. George Schofield is here. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. I like this topic. We're talking about clutter. <laughs> We're going to talk about clutter this morning. <laughs> so what does clutter become? What are we talking well, about? Well, we used to think about clutter as piles of clothes mm -hmm. or Christmas gifts that we never did something with and they were always sitting on the table. But not all clutter is physical anymore. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of digital clutter. Really? How much is sitting on your iPhone that you need to get oh, back to? Or yeah. how many emails have you not erased and therefore it says <laughs> a thousand emails? Yeah. It's still physical things, but it's not just physical things. It's digital things also. Okay, so then we're identifying them as, how do we identify them? Just well, first of all, you have to ask yourself, what, what does clutter look like for you in your environment, okay. one, and two, how much clutter do you have tolerance for or is your preference? Because it's really a very individual decision. So at your house, what would clutter look like, Kathy? <laughs> you already mentioned things you mentioned. I thought you might have been to my house. I've got some <laughs> laundry and you know things and, yeah. and stacks of. I still get some paper bills. I try to get away, you know, from that. But sure. Then, and also, we're talking about cell phone, not cell phone, but um, emails. Yes. That kind of thing. All of the, yes. all of the above. All of the above. At my house, it looks like piles of paper. Mm -hmm. If we're working on something, we can actually move into the kitchen and cover all the counter in the process of organizing <laughs> right. with 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 piles of paper. So it's very individual, mm -hmm. but it's really insidious because eventually we don't see it. Yeah, that is true. You kind of we kind of get used yeah, to it until all of a sudden true. we can't stand it anymore. Where I came from in Seattle, basements were the place for clutter. Yeah. Eventually you just move it to the basement. Here <laughs> exactly. we have garages. Yep. And I've noticed that some people have to leave their cars in the driveway because the garage is so full of stuff. I, you know, I almost thought about getting a storage facility because of the clutter. In my and at one garage. point in my life, yeah. I did that. Mm. I was so attached to the yeah. Halloween ornaments my kids had made when they were younger, I paid to store those. And eventually the kids said, why are you doing that, Dad? We don't care, you don't care, get rid right. of it. Right, right. So what, what do we do to get rid of all this stuff? What can we do? So I think the great way to do it mm -hmm is first of all do one room at a time because the whole house can be overwhelming. Yeah. Second of all, Smart. develop a buddy system. Okay, the clutter at the moment is in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I'll make a deal with you. You help me identify the clutter at my, in my particular room and I'll help you identify the, the clutter in your particular room. And by the way, we'll buy boxes to put it in and I'll take responsibility okay. for taking it away for you and you take responsibility for taking it away for me. Because otherwise, we can actually pile things into boxes and then the boxes sit there. Exactly, that is so true. But yeah, that buddy would definitely help, I think. It's yeah. just like getting, if someone just would help me, I, I feel like I could get more comfortable. Right, and your buddy could say, that person. is this clutter? Right. Because yeah. I'm not gonna know what your clutter is and you're not gonna know what mine is, but it's okay. really difficult to be dishonest with your buddy who's there to help you because just gonna turn around and do the same thing. Exactly. With at your house. All right, well, uh, Awesome, awesome discussion once again. Really get you thinking there. So thank you so much. You're, looking you're forward welcome. To the next Me too. Interview. See you then. All right. See you guys after this.